Welcome, I'm Safe, and today I'm going to show you how we can do vector data store and web search with OpenAI without using multiple tools. Okay, so this is actually a new feature that, uh, that OpenAI just launched, and of course it's available now in NA10. So let's see how. So in the old, in the old things like uh, we were doing agent, then we were adding something like uh, Pinecoon vector data store, and then adding the embedded model, of course, the embedded one like OpenAI, and of course adding the chat model itself, and without this one, of course, and like basically that's it. This is it. Like, but we are using like something like third party or something. Okay. Um, so yeah, we we have here our Pinecoon store. Uh, we need like to choose from the list itself. Like HR, I have it here. Description, it's um, HR. <laughs> That's it. Um, okay. And then you have to upload it in Binecoon um, website. Okay. But now OpenAI did something totally different. They have their, uh, like, other than using embedded model as, as an embedded model, we can just use something called user responses ABI. So it's a built in tools like web search, file search, code interpreter, and Lot of other things I believe it will be uh, we will have it soon okay so let, let me just explain what we can do with this feature and how it can help us okay so for example if we want to do a web search let's say for example um, what search for what what do you think um, let's search what is the latest iPhone in the market now Latest iPhone, huh? iPhone 15 Pro Max. Okay, so as of June 2024. So of course it doesn't have an updated thing. So either that we need to update the system prompt. We didn't even add a system prompt here. Um, or of course connected with tools like SERP ABI. Um, yeah, if you want to search like uh, SERP ABI, uh, where is it? Yes, this is the one. So you can search Google, of course, in lifetime. But other than uses this, you can just go to the actual chat model itself. And yes, by the way, if you don't know how to create um, this ABI key, you just go here, you know, open AI key. Uh, yeah, just search in Google, open AI key. And then you'll find here the ABI keys, just create your own key. When you sign in, you will find, you'll find it in docs, but you need just to create your account. After creating your account, you need to add uh, like a credit card or something and just charge it to around $5. $5 will be enough, really. And then just go to dashboard, ABI keys, and just create your key. Copy it and copy it in somewhere safe because you cannot copy it again. It will just disappear and just add it here. That's it, you don't need to add any other thing, okay? And of course you can choose your shot model from here. Uh, but yes, and uh, now we have the web search, okay? So medium, that's mean the context size itself. We have low, medium, high. It depends on the depth of the search that we need. So it's just medium, we don't need higher than this. Uh, and we have here also web search allowed domains, country, city, region. Uh, the search allowed domains, that means if you have a website or if you need to search a specific domain on a specific website. So you can choose, let's say, for example, that you want to scrape my website or you want to search on my website, igniteaisystem.com. So you can just uh, search it. And then, uh, of course, this one will be high. So you'll get all the information that you need, all of information that you ask for. If you need to search for a specific country in a specific country, so it will be the same. Okay, so let's ask the same exact question. Okay, but after turning this one on, let's try it. Okay, so as you can see now, it's in here as of December the 5th, 2025. Now we have iPhone 17, 17 Pro Max and all. So, and of course they give us like links, Wikipedia, Apple.com, everything. Okay, so we didn't, we didn't do anything. We just turned this one on, add, add it as medium and that's it. And it updated itself. Okay, we have also here, we didn't even add a system prompt. We didn't add anything. It's just a simple agent, literally. Okay, so yeah, this is this is how you do it here. It's, it's very basic. So let's try the other one is the file uh, vector file. Okay, so let's remove this one. And what is the vector store? The, the vector store, uh, it's like the database. If you have like multiple information about your company or about your business and you need to have it in a database. 
Some people use like Google Sheets or Excel even. And some people use like Victor Stores. Victor Stores like Binecoin, like I showed you at the first of the video. Binecoin, Superbase, you can use all this. Or like we said, we have OpenAI, we have File Search. So File Search, the first thing it will ask, it will ask for Victor Store ID. So how to get this Victor Store ID? So you will go to OpenAI and it's the same also. You will hit Dashboard. Other than after you did your API key, you will go to Storage and then you'll find Victor Storage and just hit Create. After hitting create, just name it. And then this is your ID. You'll copy your ID, let's copy it, and come back here, just paste it. And of course, put it between uh, quotes. Oh, sorry. Yes, put it between quotes. Okay. Now let's ask it what? Uh, yeah, I, I already, yeah, I forgot. I already uploaded here anytime beginner BDF. This is the BDF that I already uploaded, okay? And let's now, uh, let's try to use, um, let's search. Like I was searching actually for debugging types, but let's try something different even. Uh, yeah, let's try AI automation basics, okay? Let's go back and let's ask it for this one. What are the, um, this one. It will give us an error. Why it will give us an error? Let's go here. So this is came from here, missing required parameter, tools and filters type. Why is this? Because after going through ABI documentations and using tools, uh, if you want to know how to get this, so other than doing dashboard, you'll go to docs, then you'll find tools, then using tools. So we already used, we already used, sorry about that, I didn't know what it is. So we already used web search, then file search, okay? So yeah, after going through some documentation, uh, you can just read it here. Uh, I check that, I see that it's required filters. So as you can see here, it's required filters, okay? And the filter will be something like this. I can just paste it, but let me just paste it here for you. And you can just pause the video and copy and paste it. Oh, sorry. Okay. So you just need to add this one. Well, to be honest, I don't know exactly why that we need to add this, but um, maybe just because it's just launched, it's just a new thing, so that's why. Uh, but of course, if you need to more, you can just read through the documentations. And now let's try the exact question. As you can see, until now, it didn't give us an error. So that's mean it's searching and checking. Okay, great. So the basics of AI automation as explained in the, the comment, including the following key points. So let's, for example, generate text using AI model like OpenAI. Let's go and see. Generate text using OpenAI. So as you can see, it's already searched and found it. And what? It took us what? It took us seven seconds. So seven seconds in order to give us all this breakdown for it. So yeah, as you can see, it's, it's very basic, very powerful. You can use it in multiple things. You have max results, so like you have one result, you can actually get two, three, four, five results. It doesn't matter, it depends on your BDF. Uh, but yes, there is something here. So with this Victor store, uh, because I know some of you guys maybe will say, okay, but Gemini, um, they have the same Victor store, but it give us the link or the source or where it found this information. Because if you have a large PDF, of course, you need to know uh, from where I got this information. So yeah, until now, there's no update for OpenAI, the same as Gemini, but I believe hopefully we will have. Uh, but yeah, until now, Gemini does, it, does this best that it give us exactly where we can find this information and where to get it from, okay? So uh, yeah, let's go back to our one here. Okay, so yeah, this is the max result one. We have other tools like Cord code interpreter. This is to, to have code. Uh, I will leave it actually on the screen now what exactly the built-in tool does and how to use it, okay? And of course, you can search also and change it uh, with the chat model itself. And until now, we didn't even add one single prompt. So this is how powerful it is. We can just add a uh, system, system message and it will be more powerful. We can add tools, memories, all things here. But yeah, for the sake of this video, it's just a short video just to let you know how you can use an, uh, this update. And remember, you need to have the updated N10, the latest update. Okay, so if you liked it, 
Uh, I hope you like the guys, of course. And uh, if you need more walking through or even having some of the workflows, if you need any of the workflows, I will leave the link down below for my school community. Uh, you can check it. We are an active community there. Um, let me show you the community. So we are an active community here. Um, like, of course, if you want any assistance, like this guy, of course, uh, he needs an assistance in some workflows. So we walk him through step by step how we can fix it. And after fixing it, it, like it was great. Even if you needed like a short demo, I can do it for you, no problem. I'm active 24 seven in this group. Um, and yeah, you can find it. You can find all the workflows there for all my video. You can just go to YouTube resources. And for example, if you want this one, click it and just download the JSON. You can just copy and paste it here and import the file and that's it. Uh, so I hope you like it and see you on the next one. Thank you.